two women from the old neighborhood came up and they asked me, they looked at me funny and they go, is your name Animal? And I said, yeah, people call me Animal. I've been called that a long time. And then she turns to her sister and goes, see, I told you, Jesus is coming. We got Animal, we got Killer, we got Savage, we got all these bad guys from the old neighborhood. They're all coming to new life. And that put a smile on my face. I was like, I think I'm in the right place, you know? So we're looking for a home, we're looking for a new place to call home, so we're between uh, New Life Oak Forest, the New Life Tri Taylor, and then we came to Midway, and um, I remember several times coming um, here hungover, <laughs> but something just, uh, something just about the word here, so there was something different when I went to the altar and, and really, really surrendered my life to Christ. I mean, I had said the words in the prayer several times, but this time I, I, I fully meant it. <laughs> there was no... Uh, half-hearted approach I feel to this time. This one was when I was in my broken state. I called my, my little sister who was still a, a church goer and I said, I gotta go to church. Can you recommend the church? And she said, go to New Life. And I said, okay. And it was a short conversation. And I called her the week later and I said, why don't you want me to go to um, your church? She said, girl, you just need to put your foot in the door and stay there and there's not too many rules and you're gonna love it. And she's like, and if you want, I can go with you. Duramos algunos meses buscando una iglesia hasta que ella, por el, por el sign que está enfrente, y, y decidimos a uh, ver. Y lo curioso de esto es que uh, muchas veces es difícil encontrar un lugar donde te sientas bien. Y yo creo que este, desde el primer día que vinimos, Es como si hubieras uh, regresado a tu casa porque nos sentimos en casa desde el principio. Este, nos mudamos del norte para acá y ahora este, estamos aquí. Ya tenemos casi siete años. Um, right now I'm 13 and the change I've seen is that um, my parents used to fight a lot and now that they come to church, I see them more united and I see my whole household united. Not only just my parents, but my grandparents and all my uncles. When I let go and I give it all to God, it's, it's been really good. My, my children participate in church. Uh, my brothers also started coming and their families. And so I'm really happy because at this point we're all in church. Estuvimos a punto de divorciarnos y gracias a Dios que por medio de Pastor George y Pastor Margie, su familia nos apoyaron, nos ha cambiado la vida y ha sido de gran bendición esta iglesia. I'd like to thank Pastor Mike for reaching out to me all the time. It's important for all of us at New Life to reach out to those new people, to let them know that they're at home here. When you reach out to people you don't know, it puts them at ease. Pastor Mike put me at ease. It showed me, it made me feel the love. It, this ain't just a building, God's here. You know, his spirit is here. You know, a lot of times I heard this said many times, why didn't you man up? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Well, I think the fact is that I did man up because I think it takes a real man to surrender to an almighty king. It used to be Sundays, it was hard to get up, but now we enjoy to get up. You know, it's, it's hard because, you know, getting everybody together. But once we get here, you know, you're singing along. I, you know, I don't know the words, all of them, but I, I watch and I, you know, and I hear Pastor Mark and it just, every time I'm wowed, you know, I'm like, he's teaching us how to become more like God. If you have a son or a daughter, I prefer that my daughter be dancing to the Lord, that she be learning here in the church, because out there are many things difficult and we already know them all. So there are times when one thinks that it's only for women or for children. But to make them come and be there, you have to be supporting them and coming with them. Because if you have a son, you want your son to learn good things and not things that they will teach you in the street. Before I was called upon for violence, now I'm called upon to pray. So I like that part. In the Bible it says that we have to listen to our parents, but if our parents don't want to come to church, I mean like, it's something God will also put in their hearts. And once you come, they'll see the change in you. My name is Jose Mercado. I've been coming to New Life for the last two years. And I'm Marisol Torres, and I've been coming to New Life for the last four years. My name is John Lopez. 
I've been coming to New Life going a little over three years. My name is Eddie Morales and I started coming in 2010. My name is Jocelyn and we've been coming to church about seven years. Dios encarga de lo difícil. 